Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to my fans and to my followers. Welcome to Robothought Zero to Hero series and we are on lesson number 21. All right guys, in the previous lesson, I showed you how to set up ROS on your Jetson Nano followed by I showed you a couple of libraries to install. Uh, that is your ROS underscore lib, how to configure in your Jetson Nano. And I showed you how to configure your Arduino Core IDE, not the actual IDE which you generally download for your Windows machine. But for, uh, for Jetson Nano on Ubuntu, we got to use Arduino Core. Okay, so I hope you have done that. I showed you step by step how to do it. If anybody had any issues, do let me know i will help you out all right guys leave a comment below right guys uh, now in lesson number 21 i am going to show you how to communicate between arduino and jetson nano all right and that is where your ROS serial will come into picture right so so basically let me just share uh, all right, so this is the drawing. You can just refer to this drawing and you can just pictureize the laptop on this corner, right? That is nothing but your Jetson Nano, okay? In Jetson Nano, you already installed ROS and that is your master node, okay? And then within the master node, you will create another node called a publisher node. So I'll explain each and everything as best as possible. I will show you what a publisher means and what a subscriber means in the world of ROS. All right. These terminologies are important guys for you to understand as we start building autonomous robots with artificial intelligence and such features because you will very soon see these words and terminologies like publishers, subscribers, nod, topic all those things blah 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 on your terminal and codes and in github and through your friends and everywhere right so you got to understand everything so you see, i'm trying to explain all these things from the scratch from the basic level so that your foundations are very strong and you start playing around practically this is not theory guys this is practical all right so uh, this is one of the reason guys why i started at the beginning of the zero to hero series I showed you how to play around with your Jetson Nano terminal and I showed you Linux commands and I showed you around 100 different lessons of Python coding on terminal remotely logging through PuTTY and I showed you how to you know execute each and every program on Python so that you you guys get hands on into the terminal because from here onwards we are into ROS right we are into the core system of Jetson Nano and we are going to build a lot of applications using robotic operating system which is ROS. So in this requires you to work only on terminal right not any GUI applications. All right guys so uh, basically what what is a publisher right so you might be wondering what is this publisher right so publisher is a a ROS publisher is nothing but it's, it's a node, it's a, it's a ROS node that publishes a specific type of ROS message, okay, over a given ROS topic. Now, what is a topic? I'll tell you about that, okay. So, no, node is again a ROS terminology, okay, it's used in ROS language, it is ROS terminology, you can you call it as ROS terminology, it's called node for any kind of executable that is connected to the ROS network. It could be .py, which is your Python file, or .cpp, C++ file, whatever, which you are trying to execute within the ROS network boundaries you are going to create, right? So that is called node, okay? The primary mechanism of ROS node is to exchange data by sending and receiving messages from within the network, all right? So if a node wants to share information, it uses a publisher, which is your Jetson Nano in this corner picture. Can you see that is Jetson Nano? So if, if Jetson Nano wants to publish, send a command or execute a code, that's called a publisher. It uses publisher to send the data to a topic. 
okay now the topic can be a different topic altogether which i am going to talk in detail that's going to be a different set of mechanism and the node that wants to receive the information uses a uses something called a subscriber in this case it's arduino uno all right and then arduino is connected to your say a motor driver with multiple dc motors and kind of thing that's where you will be playing around a lot so you will basically give a tons of command through a publisher and the subscriber will receive that information and start processing the data it can be within the network within the lan or it can be on the van as well remotely any part of the world using this stuff you can control your bots all right guys i am going to show you how right and it's going to get more and more advanced guys it's going to be interesting so better keep the foundation strong all right all right let me see if i'm connected to my jetson nano uh, yeah so i'm connected to my nano and my arduino is connected to one of the usb ports and let's see let's play around now all right guys so i am going to now i have already logged in <coughs> excuse me let us say now first we need to open arduino ide first you need to open a terminal right right click open terminal type arduino a r d u i n o arduino and this is going to open up arduino don't worry about this error message all right okay now let me minimize guys do not close the terminal all right at any cost you should never close it you can just minimize it and let me just find out where my arduino is it might be in one of the corners somewhere here there you go all right now what we need to do once you open arduino okay one second my system is pretty slow today i don't know why this is the original sketch so you are on the ide let me just make it little bigger so that you guys can see that all right so what you need to do guys first go to tools and make sure that you are in the correct port so i am connected to my acm0 slash dev forward slash tty acm0 okay you need to remember this because i am going to show you the next topic what's coming up okay and then yeah you need to just confirm you are connected to uno board yeah absolutely it's connected to uno board and then you need to go to file and go to examples in examples you can see at the bottom you will see the one of the library that is ross underscore lib okay once you go to ross underscore lib there are multiple example programs like open up hello world okay there is a program called hello world which is this program that's where it will take you this is what the sketch is sketch is nothing but a language a terminology used in uh by arduino folks and that's nothing but your code right what you're going to code it so this is a very simple program to publish right i'm going to show you how to publish okay this is the published topic okay uh so so this program is basically talking about how to include your uh, ros dot dot h uh, header file and then the message what you want to send you know all those things so basically uh, you know it's going it's going to send a hello world character and then you are setting up your arrays which is chatter it can be any message guys you can just you know replace this with any word you want all all it matters is what string you give right guys if you don't understand the c c++ language i am going to start a parallel series uh, from the basics of c and c++ using arduino okay Uh, to give you practical exposure on some of the fundamental aspects of C and C++, so you can watch that series separately. But in any case, this is an example program, and what you need to do, you just have to upload this. All right, once you upload, 
your LED should blink. Yeah, there you go. It's blinking on your Jetson Nano and then you have to minimize this. Do not close it guys. You have to minimize it. Make sure that you do not close any of the terminal. Okay, it's very important. Now, now what we need to do now we have sent a certain set of code instructions into Arduino. Now we need to publish that through your Jetson Nano, uh, th which is your ROS core, right? Where your ROS is sitting in Jetson Nano. So that's where you need to initiate to communicate between Jetson Nano and Arduino. So how do we do that? So here you go. You need to right click, open a new terminal. All right. Now, where is this terminal? Let me just drag it back. It should be somewhere here. Where is my new terminal I just created? Hold on a second, guys. Uh, it will be somewhere here. Let me just check. This is the Arduino terminal. Do not close, just minimize it. Let's open a new terminal. And this is my new friend, my new terminal. All right, and this what you need to do. You need to type ROS core. That is the command to initiate your ROS in Jetson Nano. All right, ROS core. Enter and i hope it initiates there you go guys so at the bottom of the line can you see started core services that means your ROS is up and running okay now you need to minimize this again minimize it do not close the terminal guys open another terminal a new terminal okay now in this particular terminal you need to we need to basically run a ROS real client application that means which will forward the messages to your Arduino and then take the messages back to <coughs> to to your ROS right so we need to make sure that how, before communicating our serial port connected to Jetson Nano and Arduino is talking to each other right so that has been set perfectly so what you need to do ROS run space ROS serial underscore Python space serial okay and then underscore node dot py it's a Python file space forward slash dev forward slash tty and my arduino was connected to a port called acm0 acm0 this will change in your case guys sometimes in your uh, your your uh, jetson nano will show up say usb 0 or 1 or something like that or a a acm0 or 1 so just type the same thing all right tty acm0 now let's see what happens all right connecting to dev requesting topics there you go guys we are ready to publish and i can see my arduino is blinking if i can show you to you all right can you see that now now what we need to do we need to now run another command which will basically uh, uh you know fetch the code which you put the hello world code into arduino that will populate into your terminal the output basically the output of that code will show up in your terminal that means the handshake between Arduino and your Jetson Nano through ROS real has been married properly all right guys now what we need to do minimize this do not close the terminal guys minimize this okay open a new terminal and now let's see the magic if 
they are talking to each other we need to confirm whether Jetson Nano and Arduino is married together right so what we need to do ROS topic okay this is called topic ROS topic echo chatter chatter is the you know the publisher line which you put in Arduino code right in the hello world example you can put anything else whatever you wish now let's call for this hello world hello world hello world there you go guys fantastic boom this is working absolutely as required as designed and as expected so no flaws and no errors this is great so guys this is how your uh, can, can you see guys how beautifully it's running so this, now now you can confirm that this clearly shows that your Arduino and Jetson Nano is communicating with each other and you can initiate any kind of program uh, you know through Jetson Nano and start doing lot of magics you can connect tons of sensors motors and you know and then later on you can bring in your AI stuff which we already did some of the object detection and facial recognition using the pre-trained uh, artificial neural network I'll show you how to connect that into some of these programs through ROS and it's going to be a real magic guys trust me it's going to be a fantastic stuff alright guys so uh, do have a look at this drawing once again and so that you you have a clear picture how uh, how the master node and the publisher node works in between using ROS serial alright this is how uh, things work I, I will share this drawing uh, with you guys I'll, I'll leave a comment uh, below attaching to my uh, github uh, repository all right guys so that's it for this lesson do give me a thumbs up and a like and subscribe to my channel i am going to get back to you soon with the next lesson which is going to get more and more interesting all right see you bye bye